Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, today we still have a few opening position has not closed and uh, right now is 3.24 p.m. And uh, we still have a few still open and uh, we still have uh, ES three minutes. It's not done yet. And uh, we have uh, the NASDAQ three minutes has is not over yet. Uh, we have the YM also three minutes. This is amazing. They all three minutes. I uh, didn't do, uh, still still trading. And uh, YM two minutes still trading. And uh, the CL four minutes still trading. And the uh, CL five minutes still trading. Uh, most of the the ones closed today, they were done all of them by twelve o'clock. Uh, we started around eight thirty this morning, and uh, most of them that were done uh, before twelve o'clock. Uh, if we see the Nasdaq today on the one minute, took one trade, and it was done at eleven fifty two. And this one has 10,800. On the NASDAQ, two minutes, 4,160. And it was done at uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, the NASDAQ on the 300 takes 4,170. But also, it was done way earlier. That's why there is not higher on the PNL, because it was done a little bit uh, at 1038. Uh, the ES was done 1214, uh, 12, uh, 2870. You can see the lower numbers because they closed within an hour or two trading. The ones has more PNL that closed around 12 o'clock. And on this one here is 1200. It was finished around 1030. On this one, 1030 also the CL 1280. All the early ones that just hit the target and stopped. You can set your target to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 200, whatever it is. You can set it. And um, on the last trade, if the market go into your direction, it's going to stay open until it closed. So that's why on the last trade, even if it's the chart is on 1,000 and uh, there is a 300 to your favor, uh, your auto trade is going to take it. And this one finished at 1130. This one here finished at 10.35 ES, 1,700. It was beautifully done. The 600 ES, it was done at 10.30, 2,400. The NASDAQ was done even before 10 o'clock, an hour and a Nine, we started around 8.30, 9.30, one hour in the trade, uh, 15.55, 3,190 on the NASDAQ 400 takes, finished before 10 o'clock. And this one here finished at 10.30, 1,387. And then... Um, we have the YM 100 take, uh, finished at 10.36. And the NASDAQ 10 range finished in the afternoon, okay? And then um, 1,800 on the, and it finished around 1 o'clock. And then the NASDAQ 13.95 finished before 10 o'clock. And this one here finished before 10 o'clock, the range. So you can see the difference, the longer the, the, the auto trade stayed, 
uh, got more money and uh, once they finish early they have less money this one uh, finish at 10 30 uh, 2900 the nasdaq 100 take and the nasdaq 300 takes finish around 10 38 1975 uh, i want to show also uh, the the signal uh, on the ES coming from the market analyzer. This is a different type of an auto trade. And what it does, when you get a new signal, it, it places it on the target where that trade is estimated to be. It's not fixed. And then your trailing stops are based on your, if you want to, on your FIPS or the, the auto trade will fix it to the FIB line or if you want to you can use an ATM and extend it or exceed it whatever you want there is five different automated trade uh, for the uh, uh, for the signal from pullback re-entry re-entry and uh, and uh, for the uh, latest uh, M strategy uh, I'm not gonna bring all of them but uh, most of them hit their target today this is an example the M strategy we built it for micro strategy for micro ES micro Nasdaq all the micro or if you want to you can use it on the E mini if, if you want to and you can unleash it to take from how many trades from one fib line to the other. At the same time, if uh, the one contract is going to your favor, it's not going to go and get filled on the second fib line. So if we noticed on the five range ES, also it was finished around... Uh, it finished around 10.30, that's fine. This is not swing trading, folks. This one here took the trade with the trend and reverse it. When uh, the market, he entered short here, one contract, on the higher level, took another short and exit immediately to average the price. And then what it does, it readjusted the target automatically, depends on where you are located on the chart. So the strategy adapt to the chart. So this is really important. So this, uh, uh, we are putting all the uh, new beginners on that kind of type of an auto trade. Uh, it's a very simple to handle, easy to control, and uh, you cannot go wrong that much with it, you know. You have to be a very disaster trader in order for you to... But um, there, is, there is many different types of an auto trade you have, from uh, reversal to breakout to institutional auto trade. It depends what kind of person you are, how deep you want to go with the trade, if you want a simple strategy, swing trading, scalping we have a huge variety of scalping as well so it depends what you're looking for and um, and you have all the tools you need folks uh, that's all what we have for you today i want to say thank you very much and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on the other channel live thank you very much wish you a pleasant evening bye for now